All right, ladies and gentlemen, they're making their way out. Please, if you're in the stands now, make some noise. It is one of the biggest curtain raises in the A-League. It is our Melbourne Victory fans taking on our All-Stars. Well, we've got some excellent stuff. We started with Andrew Gaze there, demonstrating some fantastic goalkeeping. Of course, Andrew Gaze with an arm span of 75 metres. Perfect to have in front of goal there. And as we said before, this is for a very good cause. The money raised from this event will allow Cancer Council to invest in more groundbreaking research, support more people through a cancer diagnosis, and educate the community about how they can reduce their cancer risk. Please, just to go donate, all you've got to do is go check cancervic.org.au. Sitting over here behind our All-Stars bench, I'm joined here by uh, Dino, mate. Seeing as you're no stranger to talking on the mic, I might just get a bit of a chat with you. You're obviously on the bench, but you've got the sweat band going. Obviously confident getting on the pitch very soon and getting a run. Yeah, I'll go up forward, slot a few, and uh, come and have another sit-down. So at the moment, Cam Mooney's up, and he had a shot with the first kick of the game. It's an interesting tactic, but we'll see how we go, Steph. Mate, you've done it very well. I saw some of the highlights there of your uh, attempts at a penalty kick versus Lawrence Thomas. How, uh, how much do you think that's helped ahead of today's match? Uh, not at all. And Lawrence let two in just to make me feel good. He's a gentleman. Mate, I look forward to seeing what you do. You've got some great cheerleaders over there. Dino there, of course, from Nova 100. We've got a great all-star lineup here. Some highlights of the day thus far. Michael's a pony's legs. We've never seen them before, normally wearing a, a dapper suit. And, oh, it's almost gone through for a goal. Has it picked up on the line? We don't have goal line technology for this match, unfortunately. So uh, 
there won't be any sort of replays of World Cup 2010 Germany England game there. Michael Zapponi moving the ball nicely. You'll see Zappa's, of course, side of the field afterwards on the other side of the line. Very, very shortly ahead of tonight's match versus Perth Glory. And that's our first goal and also the uh, first little bit of stripping there. There we go. Mark out number 14 with a goal there for our All-Stars and of course He's coming off straight away, so we basically he's got a substitution, a yellow card, and a goal all in the space of about 20 seconds. Cam Mooney and Mark Howard coming off there for, of course, a couple of very talented players. We we're just talking to Dino there, of course, from Nova 100. He's done very well for himself out there, and he's looking forward to getting some goals today, he says. Also joining him right now on the pitch is Tara Rushton. A nice movement of the ball. Very good thing to get in early today. So if you've rocked up early ahead of tonight's match against Perth Glory, you've done very well. Now, uh, we will be talking to our team captains after the match to get their thoughts on it. But currently, 1-0 lead to our All-Stars, and they're doing bloody well. There we go. A great a long kick there, but not a particularly accurate one from Andrew Gaze. NBA star, NBL star, now MVFC star. Really, he's just a star and a master of abbreviations. Alan Didak's ball there cleared nicely by some of our Melbourne Victory fans and it's out. Will it be a corner? It will indeed. Now I'm going to come over here and chat to uh, a few of our Nova 100 cheer squad. We're going to find out what's happening. I think I might talk to uh, Anna because Anna's of course the first letter in it. I want to say you're the leader but you are of course the D in Dino. I want to ask what sort of chance have you got going for Dino at the moment to help get him uh, some love? Oh, we're just really screaming out his name, get, getting around him and making him feel excited about us being here. Excellent, very good, an excellent tactic, and I uh, hope it works for you girls. So I'll let you girls take it away with some more chanting. Follow their, oh, follow their lead and get behind these guys, of course. A very close shot on goal there with the left boot from number 19, Mark Hill there for our Melbourne Victory fans. Now our all-star squad proving that they are exactly that. Some nice movement there. Zaffer, unfortunately, not able to get it down the line, as he had intended. Nevertheless, guys, make some noise, of course. It'll be an opportunity to warm your voices up and warm those hands up when you're clapping ahead of tonight's, of course, main event, Melbourne Victory taking on Perth Glory and hopefully walking away with three points. Another substitution here for our Melbourne Victory All-Star squad, John Aaron. The Honourable John Aaron coming off and in his place making his way to the pitch. And number 13 for the Melbourne Victory All-Stars, Matt Windley. And then coming off here, Alan Didak. He is replaced by number 23, Paul LeCuria. So one AFL star for another. And hopefully this will translate into some success here for, uh, for the All-Stars again, managing to pull away another goal. I think our... I think our uh, Melbourne Victory fans need a little bit of love. So can we get some noise from the crowd there? Come on, guys, make some noise. Give them a round of applause. Get a cheer going. Excellent work. That was brilliant. Might be a little bit more difficult with that Mexican wave that we'd rehearsed at this point, but we'll see how we go.
George Kellenbaris almost cooking up something delicious right there in the box. Grant Brebner not able to help out too much, but Grant has uh, been doing phenomenal work this season as club ambassador chatting to a range of different stars. You'll see that again on the big screen today ahead of tonight's match. Oh, beautiful touch there. Straight across to Tara Rushton. Dino coming off there. Dino looks like that uh, sweatband served its purpose. He is, of course, coming off for uh, Cameron Mooney. Geelong star has uh, made his way onto the pitch. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be tough to get header over him. He's got a bit of height on him, so uh, it looks like there is a little bit of work cut out for our Melbourne Victory fans. And another change right there coming on number three, of course. Our number three for our Melbourne Victory fans. Right now, as I refer to my list, is Jonathan Powell. Jonathan Powell enjoys slow walks by the beach, kicking balls at walls, and sitting on soft grass. And he's had an opportunity to do a couple of those things right here, and, and we're happy for him. Andrew Gaze there, of course, coming off and having a well-deserved rest. He's uh, had a lot of possession of the ball there. He's been responsible for keeping it out of the back of the net, so well done there to Gaze. He might have a chat to him in just a moment. And Dino's supporters getting awfully vocal. Not the most original material for cheering, but nevertheless, enthusiasm is key. Zappa with the left boot there, moving across to Tara Rushton. Might make my way over here to our All-Stars bench and just have a chat with Gazy and uh, find out what he's got to say. Andrew, mate, you did a very good job there in goal. Uh, are you happy with your efforts? Yeah, well, any time you don't give up any goals, it's pretty good. So um, I don't know who's doing the voting, but clearly you'd see that there's uh, three votes coming the number one way. But um, a lot, still a long way to go, but we're pretty, feeling pretty good about ourselves. Our rotation's good. And uh, the way we're distributing the ball is outstanding. Andy Mars yet to... Oh, hell, there's a bit of a punch on going on. Uh, Di is that Didac? What's that? What's the courier? Oh, there, <laughs> this is exciting stuff. This is brilliant. Somehow at some point here he's become my co-commentator. This is awesome. And uh, we did have a bit of a change there. Guljan Kocha coming on for Michael Zaponia. Gazy, you seem pretty comfortable with it. Obviously used to seeing you on a basketball court, but uh, any chance you might uh, get down here and we'll see you a little bit more at some A-League matches? Oh, absolutely. I've, already, I've been to a couple over the time and uh, big uh, victory fan. Unlike my uh, co-commentator, I'm trying to uh, Andy Ma, 11-16 SEN, 6-9, Monday to Friday. You can tune in and uh, he was a heart man, but now he's wavering since they've changed, so I'm trying to convert him to a victory man as well. But uh, I, think he, I think we've sold him now. He's got the jersey, and uh, he's going to be a victory man from here on out. Very good, mate. Thanks for chatting to us. He's doing very well. Andy Mars, just come on there. I want to jump in here quickly and have a seat in our uh, comfortable new bench and chat to Brebs. Brebs, mate, you've uh, been an absolute star off the pitch all season, chatting to a number of different players and members of the club. Now's your opportunity to get on there and have a kick again, and that goes over the bar. How, uh, how good is it to be a part of uh, something for such a great cause today? Yeah, look, um, it's, it's been a really good initiative by the club and, and every player that's came along today deserves all the credit because it's, been, uh, it's just a great occasion for everybody concerned. But I'm actually struggling to catch my breath here. Ten minutes of that game and uh, I'm blown a bit. But yeah, it's uh, been fantastic. Very good. Well, we just got uh, word that there's another substitution and uh, we've had a few of them right now. Danny Elsop did just make his way off the pitch and Tony Jones has made his way out there. It's looking all very, very exciting, guys. As we said, this is all for a very, very good cause. So please make sure that you are a part of it. Make sure that you do go to cancervic.org.au because the money raised from this event will allow Cancer Council to invest in more groundbreaking research and continue the great work they do. Our W League star, Gujan Kocha, right there. Not only entertaining on the pitch, also has a very entertaining Instagram account. So I'm um, just pushing the social media there as well. We're going to head over to our Melbourne Victory fans. A nice cross. And unfortunately, not able to convert that to a goal. I'll tell you what, some high standard play right here. George Calambaris running through the middle there. Another change, Alan Didak coming on for Paul Lecurier again. They did just uh, trade places just a short time ago and they're doing so again. 
And I know we've been chatting to a number of our all-stars. Can we have a big round of applause for our Melbourne Victory fans, guys? They come out here week in, week out and cheer on our boys in blue. And now they're out there on the pitch having a blast as well. Andy Ma there. On the left boot of Alan Didak. Gee, he's got some pace there. And it's a nice through ball, but unfortunately deflected out. Unfortunately, of course, for the all-stars. Fortunately for our Victory fans. Mark Howard there with a double. The shirt stays on this time because he doesn't want to get a red card. Of course, he copped a yellow the first time. Oh, he's looking at his... He's having a bit of a laugh there with our referee. But no, the shirt stays on. It's two goals currently for Mark Howard, number 14. A great effort and an exciting piece of football. Some changes here, of course, going on. And coming off for our uh, Melbourne Victory fans, coming on at number 15 and number 20. Now number 15 and 20 from our Melbourne Victory fans. squad. of course, number 20, the Honourable Tim Pallas. And number 15, number 15 is not on my list at the moment. But uh, rest assured, I will find out everything I can about him. I'll check his Facebook and see every status he's ever posted. Andy Ma with a little toe poke there to Mark Howard. A nice little pass. And let's see if it'll result in a goal. Currently a 2-0 lead. And it's almost a clearance, is it? No, it hasn't quite made it out. Cam Mooney able to get onto that. And a nice cross, but a low ball. <laughs> cleared by the defensive line there for our uh, Melbourne Victory fans. Now, Zappa is, of course, a very popular man down here. Every uh, victory game, he's covering for Fox Sports. Shutting to some fans over here on the side. I might have a chat with him in just a tick and uh, get his thoughts on the game, of course, while he has a little bit of a breather. Coming off our goal scorer right now, trading for Tara Rush to number 25. She's coming off Mark Howard, number 14. And Dino getting some cheers there, even though he's not on the pitch. But he's close to his cheerleaders, and that's what's important. I'm going to have a quick chat with Zappa here. Uh, Michael's a pony, mate. It's, it's not often that uh, you're the one on the receiving end of the interview. Um, how are you enjoying today's match? Oh, absolutely loving it. Uh, not every day you get a chance to actually put on the boots. So a new fan respect for the, uh, the players who actually do it week in, week out. It's not that easy. Now, you're usually the best-dressed bloke on the pitch, of course, uh, suit head-to-toe. And today, we've, I think it's the first sight I've ever seen of your, uh, your legs. It nice, must be nice to give them a little bit of a breather ahead of tonight's match. Unfortunately, you can see the legs. Yeah, no, it's um, you always have to wear the suit. And uh, we're, luckily today we're doing our interviews in the, in the Victory Strip. So uh, we'll have a bit of fun with that and uh, promote a great cause, which we're all out here for. Very good, mate. Wish you guys the best of luck currently. A 2-0 lead and it's a penalty kick. Who'll take it? It looks like George Calambaris. Come on, guys, make some noise. Give him a round of applause. Or if you're going for our Victory fans, you can clap and distract him. Oh, some power behind it. George Columbaris, number 10, with a third goal for Melbourne Victory All-Stars.
Oh, well struck ball there by Alan Didak. Makes it 4-0. Oh, a change out. Goal scorer coming off to Alan Didak. Again, making way for Paul LeCuria. Cam Mooney coming off for someone at a completely different end of the fitness spectrum there. Dino. Now, Dino's got some love here from his Nova 100 cheerleaders. And they're loud and proud there. Make sure you tune in to Dino on Nova 100. A well-struck ball. But Andrew Gaze, show him some love. The man with the absolutely massive hands. It's kind of like a web. It's pretty much like getting the ball caught in a spider web. He's got that goal covered. Good John Koja there on the near post. Also one of our Melbourne Victory W League stars. She's trading places there with George Calambaris. And we want to thank you all for joining us here on what I'm sure you'll all agree is a Saturday. Oh, Gaze, he's picked that up. It was a pass back. You know what that's going to result in. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, that's not a parking ticket. That is a yellow card. A card for Gaze. He's been so effective all afternoon. A little too effective right now. It's resulted in a penalty and potentially our first goal for our Melbourne Victory fans. It's been passed around there. It's been set over the goal line. Remember, you need to make some noise for him because currently our All-Stars lead 4-0. And this is an opportunity for the, uh, for the fans to get a point on the board. Now, this is an interesting wall. Um, this is uh, classified as the Berlin Wall defence. That's a goal. That is a goal. Goal to number four, David Festuka, and it also singles halftime. Four to our All-Stars and one to our Melbourne Victory fans. We'll be back for another 20 minutes of football very soon. and marks a significant milestone in our club's history as we celebrate our 10th anniversary. Be part of our team as a member by heading to gombfc.com.au today. Get connected to Melbourne Victory. Join the conversation and stay up to date with the latest behind-the-scenes action on the club's social media platforms. Don't forget to visit our website for official news, player info, community involvement, and more. Get your hands on the latest Melbourne Victory merchandise. Make sure you visit the official club merchandise outlets located inside Amy Park at the Eastern Booth between aisles 20 and 21 and the Western Booth between aisles 3 and 4. Don't forget, as Melbourne Victory members, you are entitled to receive a 10% discount on all merchandise with presentation of your membership card. Please note, this member discount excludes game day specials or sale items. Our next home game is against the Central Coast Mariners at Amy Park on Friday, March 27. Kickoff is at 7.40 p.m., to purchase your tickets, head to ticketech.com.au.
Spectators must never use violence in any form towards another person, including fellow spectators, players or match and team officials, including coaches. Any person who does not comply with this spectator code of behaviour or who otherwise causes a disturbance may be evicted from the venue and may be banned from attending future matches. Well, the money raised from this event will allow Cancer Council to invest in more groundbreaking research, support more people through a cancer diagnosis, and educate the community about how they can reduce their cancer risk. Make sure that you donate now at cancervic.org.au. And we're about ready for our second half of football here at our Curtain Razor. If you've just made your way in the doors, this is our thrilling encounter between our Melbourne Victory All-Stars and our Melbourne Victory fans. We've got some interesting commentary coming up. I'll be throwing out a few interesting tidbits as we go. But there's been some exciting stuff throughout. I think everyone here has been enjoying it. Perry, uh, have you been enjoying it? Thrilling. She's absolutely speechless. She's literally speechless. Speechless or illiterate? I can't remember which one of the... <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Perry, enjoying it? Michael, you're enjoying it, mate? having a great time as well you should mate you got one of the best seats in the house directly behind the bench and in front of the crowd and they're off second half of football underway here and it's a great cause that we are of course playing for today remember guys as i said before go and donate at cancervic.org.au because the money raised from this event will allow cancer council to invest in more groundbreaking research and they do a lot of great work help them do it dino's on the run here is mark howard going to go for a third he is and he's done it and the shirt looks like it's staying on. He's running to the crowd. I'm not sure if they're family or friends, but I'll tell you what, with the way that he's hugging and kissing them, they're either one of those, they're one of either <laughs> to those two things right now. He's kissing children. He's officially, it's interesting, we have politicians here, and yet we've got Mark Howard out there kissing children. Very good. Well done. 5-1 currently to our All-Stars and even though there's some exciting stuff happening in the middle of the pitch there and we're about to kick off, the camera stays on Mark Howard. Great work there from Howie. He's uh, scored three goals today. He's absolutely in fine form. A little bit of tricky footwork there. Not quite coming off, cross coming into the box, but cleared nicely. Oh, a beautiful save. Is it a penalty? It's a handball. A handball's being called. Just a reminder, if you're wondering why there's been a bit of a change, at half time, we did, of course, give the opportunity for a couple of our All-Stars to jump over to the Melbourne Victory fan squad, and they were number 26, Rachel Quigley. And, of course, you would have seen her in action for our W League. She's an absolute star. Gujan coach, number six. And currently, penalty kick, opportunity for a second goal. And he's done it.
shout out to Dean sitting behind us there in section 25. We're doing crowd shout outs now. If you'd like your shout out, just make your way down to the front row and uh, pat the really tall guy with the microphone on the back and he'll do a PG or G rated shout out to anyone you like. And remember, if you're sitting next to someone you're not supposed to be sitting next to, then uh, make sure that you let me know before I mention anything because I don't want to be breaking up any happy relationships. Well, another substitution here for the Melbourne Victory All-Stars. Dino there from Nova 100 thanking his fans, of course. He's got some cheerleaders there. He is making way for Cam Mooney, and it looks like Andrew Gaze is getting ready to make his way onto the pitch. All right, so I've been directed to make my way up into the crowd here. So I'm going to chat to some uh, fans who are sitting there. And uh, I was told that come over here and have a chat with Beck. Beck, uh, your other half is currently in goal. Are you proud of what he's doing at the moment? Or uh, on a scale of one to embarrassment, 10 being embarrassment, where are you at at the moment? Oh, I'm not embarrassed. Uh, I think he's doing pretty well considering he's not usually a goal. <laughs> <laughs> so mid-chat, mid-chat he just copped a goal. That's probably the worst example of what you were saying. Nevertheless, he was probably... Is he asking... Okay, I thought he was asking for you to come on in his place. Nevertheless, he's making way. You must be very happy with how he's been playing, though. He's been playing with heart. He's made a few good saves. He has. I think it's balanced, the saves to the goals, so... So, obviously, uh, now he's making way for Andrew Gaze. They're handing over the gloves. Andrew Gaze. I'm not sure if that was a word of encouragement or, uh, or what the heck were you doing in there. Nevertheless, a big round of applause to George, mate. You've done very well. You've got a lot of love here in the crowd now. Just a quick question. Um, when he's not looking after the goals, what, uh, what's George's strength? When he's playing soccer or...? In general. Like, I mean, is he, is he, particularly, uh, is he a particularly good cook is he, uh, or is he better on the, on the sporting field? Oh, he's better on the sporting field, that's for sure. He doesn't cook at home, so... <laughs> Very good, that's right. So he doesn't, he doesn't trade the goalkeeping gloves for oven mitts at all, that's fine. Very good. Well, thanks for changing to us, Beck. I'm going to jump back down here. Michael Zaponi doing his pre-game cross there for Fox Sports, of course. He's normally uh, in the suit there. No, not tonight. Tonight he is in the, uh, the Melbourne Victory All-Star kit. And I imagine they're going to be shooting him from the waist up, of course, because he's got those lovely shorts on. An exciting game today, of course. The fans at the moment on three. Our All-Stars are on five. And as we said, a very good cause. Grant Brebner taken down there, and it looks like a yellow card might be coming out of the pocket. Or is he... Oh, for simulation! <laughs> he's been done for diving. That was, that was awfully... That was awfully unfortunate, Brebs. Gazy goes down there. Oh, and he's being used as a, uh, as a seat. Now, obviously, you can see the size of Gazy there. He seats 47. Oh, some fancy footwork there by our Melbourne Victory. W League star, Guga Joan Kocha. She is absolutely flying down the pitch there. We traded her at halftime, and Rachel Quigley, of course, sent them across to the, uh, the All-Star squad. She got taken, all right. I, I apologise. George is right. George Columbaris is correct, mate. She did. They, they were traded against their will, and it was actually the, the worst paid transfer in football history because they got nothing. I think we gave them a power aid. How are you uh, enjoying today's match, mate? Are you happy with how your team's faring? Amazing, actually. I'm, I'm quite surprised by Gazy. He's, uh, he's pulled out all stops. He's been uh, MVP so far, but uh, I shouldn't have yelled that out because he'll get a little bit of a big head. But what a great cause this is.
It is indeed. Now, of course, everyone out there playing, they're playing like it's the main event, like this is Melbourne Victory v Perth Glory. Um, of course, you've seen what Brebs can do. He's an absolute star out there. He's no stranger to the football field. Are you happy with how he's been playing there? Did you think he deserved that little bit of a uh, call against him for diving? Yeah, look, he's going all right, the old Brebs. I mean, it's been about three years he, till he, uh, since he's pulled on those uh, crusty old boots. But, um, you know, fantastic. Look, again, you know, what a p perfect Melbourne this is. Um, you know, we're uh, welcoming, obviously, all the, the Perth boys over here. Um, how good's the weather here in Melbourne? It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if we had to get a prediction for tonight's match, uh, I don't want to jinx it, of course, so this is just a prediction. Melbourne victory v Perth glory. What are you thinking? There's no doubt about it. Perth are a, a great team, and I'm, I'm doing the straight bat stuff at the moment. They're, they're a great team, but this is, uh, this is our stamp. This is going to be our stamp to the, to the rest of the league that we just need to enforce and make ourselves be heard, and that's what we're going to do tonight, and I think we're, we're going to get the three points. Thanks very much, George. Uh, exciting stuff, as we said, an exciting match tonight. And an exciting curtain raise. There's some noise from the crowd. Gazy at, at work there in the box. And that ball is sent out. There was an appeal for a penalty there, but it has not been called. It will be a goal kick. I'll tell you what, the people at that end of the pitch are very excited and with good reason. They're seeing some great football. Corner kick here for our Melbourne Victory fans team taken by number eight. Now, number eight is, of course, Muzi Ede. And he's opted for the short corner there. And then the cross, it's looking good. Tara Rushton there running for the ball, but it's cleared with a nice header. And Grant Brebner getting rid of that nicely with a through ball there to Alan Didak. And he shrugs off the competition, but a nice clearance. Now, uh, some excellent effort there. Now, um... If you're concerned that you've uh, suffered a bit of a head injury and you're seeing double, rest assured you're not, because it seems like all rules, <laughs> everything's gone out. We have two goalkeepers. This is, I don't know if we class this as a pitch invasion. Should someone be fined for this? I, I'm so confused. We've gone from a team of starting 11 to 47 players on the pitch. Paul Acuria going down, clutching, clutching at his ankle. He's pulling at the jocks. He's either very angry or he's found someone he likes there on the pitch. George Columbaris, who said he was exhausted a moment ago, he's found uh, his second wind. I'm almost tempted to run on. I'm being asked by the guys here. I reckon I could just about get on and, and no one would notice. I'll just hide behind Gazy. I'm about the same height. Come on, guys. We've got just over seven minutes left to play, of course. Sorry, I tell a lie. We have about just about uh, 12 minutes, 12 minutes left to play. Make some noise for our All-Stars and our Melbourne Victory fans, guys. Exciting clash here. Definitely a sign of things to come tonight. Looking ready for Melbourne Victory to squash Perth glory. It's going to be an exciting night and your opportunity to be a part of all the action coming up very, very soon.
exciting stuff and we need to remind you that this is all for a very very good cause so make sure that you do go to cancervic.org.au because all the money raised from this event will allow cancer council to invest in more groundbreaking research and of course support more people through a cancer diagnosis and educate the community about how they can reduce their cancer risk but right now, it looks like it's all about reducing your risk of instant injury because it's getting awfully physical out there. Tara Rushton running there with a the ball through from Mark Howard. He's running. He scored three today. Paula Curious sending the ball over to Cam Mooney, copping it there on the calf muscle. And he's turned his defender well. Alan Didak crossing it. A beautiful cross. Unfortunately, not a big enough leap there from Paula Curious. Dino. Oh, and Gray keeping there from Guljan Koja. She can score goals and she can keep them out of the back of the net as well. Make sure that you do go and catch a W League in action, of course, when they're playing. You think the victory boys are exciting. You should catch the girls. Remember, guys, this is your opportunity to use the hashtag, of course, for today's game, MVCVPER. Send through your photos on Twitter and, of course, on Instagram. Take those photos, post them up. I'll be posting some photos here with the guys afterwards. Some great highlights. Make sure that you go on and check out that hashtag, and I'll be posting some right now. The next one, of course, I'm going to try and get a uh, photo with... I'm going to get a photo with Gazy just because he's actually the tallest one out there, and normally I have to uh, bend down a little bit to interview people, and Gazy, it'll just be exciting to look up to him. All right, so I'm going to take this photo here with that. I'm going to try and I'm going to do our first. I think this is the first time down at Amy Park that we've done an interview with one of the players while they're playing. Andrew Gaze, oh, what a great save. But unfortunately for him, a great follow-up there from number 10, Santo Sotera. Santo Sotera it up. Andrew Gaze being helped up there. He's an absolute star, of course, during his time in the NBL and NBA. He sent that ball flying into the bottom of the net many a time. Now, unfortunately for him, he sent that ball flying into the back of his own net. It's 5-4. Geez, they've come back well, our Melbourne Victory fans. I'm going to do a, <laughs> a mid-match interview here with uh, Gazy. I don't want to risk copping a ball here or distracting you. Uh, We're going to do our uh, Melbourne Victory selfie here. We're going to try this. Here we go. Wait, I've got to get the photo. There we go. Come on, come on. All right, flip it. Nice. We've got our selfie. Uh, Gazy, you must be very happy with this, but uh, unfortunately, you got a good save, and it was cleared. Unfortunately for you, the, uh, the Melbourne Victory fans are pretty on the ball there, and they managed to put it in the back of the net. Yeah, I, well, I think you've undersold me. I think I've had four or five terrific saves, but just stand by for one second. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh, dizzy stuff. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, Andrew Gay is not only very good at saving and apparently very good at predicting an exciting game. No, mate, it's like you knew that was going to fly off the crossbar. Wait, here we go. Get back. Stand by. Standing by. Anyone that's concerned there behind us, this won't be happening mid-match. Do not worry. I will not be interfering with Nathan Cole or Lawrence Thomas while they play. That ball going out for a goal kick. Here we go. Getting to... Uh, we've gotten a chance to see Gazy saving some balls. Now we're going to get a chance to see him send them flying. Now moving along over here. I'm going to chat to uh, Mark Howard. He's going to see if he's going to receive the ball. Mark, you must be happy. Mate, you've been scoring... A few today. Three, you seem a bit out of breath, but you've run a pretty hard match. Yeah, it's a little disappointing to come and only have three on the board at this stage, but hopefully we can finish off with maybe four or five, but they've come back at us. Um, I think we should be able to hold on. gazy has been a star in goal. He's our man. All right, you've done very, very well. You've got a hat trick. Will he add to it? We'll find out soon. I'm almost too scared to chat to Gaze. Every time I talk to him, something exciting happens and uh, the ball seems to come flying over towards his goal, he's done very well, guys. As we said, make sure you go to Cancervic and, of course, donate. It's a very, very good cause, and money raised from today will, of course, go to Cancer Research, cancervic.org.au. A big clash tonight. We are going to be looking forward to seeing how that goes. Oh, it's sent into the back of the net. 
by number 13 for our Melbourne Victory fans. Well, scores are level with just over six and a half minutes left to play. You know what, guys? I'm going to do your favour. I'm going to head back down this end. I feel like I brought a little bit of bad luck ever since I made my way down to this end of the pitch. As we said, I'm going to be uh, checking Instagram as well, so make sure that you're posting your photos. Hashtag, of course, of MVCVPER tonight. I'm going to be posting a selfie there with Gazy, so make sure you go check that out as well. I'll put the hashtag up. You'll see a few selfies in here tonight. I'll put this one up right now, and then you guys can go and judge it. You can share it and post your own, of course. Post your own selfies from there in the crowd. You can find mine in there, at Steph Pop. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing yours from the crowd. This is one from the pitch, which seems to have brought a bit of bad luck. Nevertheless, it's a good cause and it's a great match. Michael's a pony there, looking a little bit different to what he normally does. No suit tonight, shorts and victory kit. Right on five minutes left to play in today's clash between our Melbourne Victory fans and our Melbourne Victory All-Stars. Now, of course, if you've just rocked up, don't worry. We are not worried about you seeing double. There are that many players on the pitch. It just got to the point where all the rules went out the door, flew out the window. Whichever hole in the house there was, they went out of them. We've got all the players on the pitch now. A range of different players, of course. You would have seen them in our uh, welcome. We've got Tara Rushton there, number 25. She is the closest to this side of the pitch. And out there, among many of our stars, you've got Alan Didak, the Honourable John Aaron, Andrew Gaze, NBA and NBL star, of course. He's won, he's won titles in both leagues, and potentially he could win, win one in our A-League clash today. Unfortunately, he won't get a ring for it. A long high ball. And it's sent over the post there. A nice little uh, scissor kick there over the head attempt by Mark Hill, one of our many Melbourne Victory fans. Michael Zapponi, he's finished his official work. He's making his way back onto the pitch. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Exciting stuff. That's a great round of applause. I can hear the clappers as well. You're having fun. You're enjoying it. We're all enjoying it because there's nothing like an exciting game of football that's also supporting a great cause. Of course, get on there, Cancer Society of Victoria. You've got to make sure that you get on there, of course. It's cancervic.org.au. Cancer Council needs your help to continue the great work they're doing, and that's what we're out here doing today, helping them out. Dino's got his cheer squad there on the sidelines. Give us a cheer. Gujan Koja there, she has got the ball. We traded her against her will at halftime with Rachel Quigley, of course, sending them over to the Melbourne Victory fans team from our All-Stars. And things have evened up pretty well. Three minutes left to play. Scores are level. It's anybody's game. Oh, and just as I say it, one more goal. That goes to our victory fans, number 10, Santo Sutera. And as I said before, Santo Sutera and it up out there. He's done very well, scored the last two. And could that be the one to seal it? We've got two and a half minutes left to play in our match today. Come on, guys, make some noise out there. Give us a big cheer and clap those clap banners as well.
Dino with some fancy footwork there. Dino, you can hear him on Nova 100, but you can see him right here live down in Amy Park for this exciting curtain raiser. He's thanking his cheer squad. We've got a minute left. We've got just on a minute left. That's a minute to either pull away an equaliser or extend the lead. What will happen currently? Our Melbourne Victory fans are leading. Will it remain like that at the end of 45 minutes? We'll find out very soon. I'm going to get you guys to count down the last 10 seconds, so we need you to make some noise. Get ready for it. It's not far away. All right, I told you we need a countdown. We're almost there. We need you guys to count us down in just a tick. Here we go. Ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The final whistle blows, and it is a win for our Melbourne Victory fans. They scored six. The All-Stars have scored five. It's a hard-fought win and a well-deserved one, all for a good cause. Cancer Council of Victoria. Well, it was an exciting match, but before we get our FFV chairman, here we go. Peter Gome, you're going to present that trophy in a moment, but we need to speak to our captains because they were, uh, they were influential, they were excited, they were a part of the match. And I'm going to start with you over here, George Calambaris, mate. Uh, commiserations, congratulations, of course. You had a great game. I want to ask you, you're a massive fan of Melbourne Victory. Is tonight a dream come true to be a part of something like this? Oh, look, you know, I mean, a dream come true is going to be us uh, winning the flag at the end of the year. I mean... 
the club means a lot to me and obviously to all these amazing fans that come into this ground every single week to support the uh, uh, the navy blue but what a great day to raise money for something so important and something that has obviously touched all of us personally um, or you know friends and family close to us which is cancer now we've raised in excess of $25,000 for Cancer Council Victoria, a phenomenal cause. As we said, we'll remind you at the end to donate and how you can do it. Cancervic, of course, .org.au. Go on there. It's, it's a great cause. Um, you're a massive part of the club. Now we talked about this sort of a cause and how much it can help. What does the club mean to you? This is such a great cause, but not a lot of clubs are, of course, to be getting behind something like this. How great is it to have Melbourne Victory be the club that's doing it? You know, obviously all of the clubs in the A-League have an intention to play football, but something I love about the Melbourne Victory and why I've been part of this club since day one is it's got an intention to do above and beyond off the ground, and that is community, um, get amongst the people, and obviously th charities like this, being the Anti-Cancer Council, getting behind that, and that's why the club means uh, so much to me. Mate, absolutely spot on. Very well said. Now, I'm going to jump over here for another chat with our winning team captain, mate. You did very, very well. Uh, Todd Harper, I'm going to chat to you very quickly. You, you do great work with the Cancer Council. Today, you did great work on the field. Not only yourself, but uh, the rest of the team, obviously, very excited to be a part of something that's great to be a part of in front of a crowd like this, but also that supports such a great cause. Absolutely. It was a great atmosphere tonight, and the, and the team played really, really well. The captain let them down at times, but they pushed through. They overcame that hurdle. I just want to thank everyone for their great support. This is going to uh, help people affected by cancer, prevent more cancer. And I know many people on our team tonight have been personally touched by cancer. So to be here tonight meant a lot to them. So thanks very much to Melbourne Victory. Now, uh, we were talking about exactly how it helps. Can you tell some of the fans who probably aren't aware, $25,000 has been raised in a short time. What sort of treatment, what sort of, uh, how is the money spent exactly and what sort of help does it provide to people who are not only suffering cancer but obviously uh, family members of people suffering? Yeah. So money raised tonight goes to help uh, support services for people affected by cancer, cancer helplines, prevention campaigns, but also new research to un unlock the causes of cancer. We want to pre prevent more cancers into the future, so money tonight will help to go towards that important cause. Mate, you've done a fantastic job. We hope you do much more great work with Cancer Council Victoria. Now, the opportunity for the fun stuff has come. I'm going to get Peter Gome over here, head of the FFV. He's going to hand over the silverware to our winning team, MVFC fans. Congratulations, guys. You deserve it. Congratulations, <laughs> and Rachel quickly jumping in there as well. They were traded at half time. Guys, it's a fantastic cause. Congratulations. A round of applause, not only for our winners, but of course to our MVFC All Stars. Give them all a big round of applause, guys. It's been an exciting night of football, exciting night still to come as Melbourne Victory take on Perth Glory. It's proving to be a very big evening here in Melbourne, the perfect weather for it. And don't forget that you can donate to cancervic.org.au, a great cause. And with everyone here, we can help raise a lot more money. Stick around. Big stuff ahead tonight. Cancer. Every day, over 300 Australians are diagnosed with it. But every day, there is hope. Because every day, we're another step closer to beating cancer. Survival rates are rising. Patient support improving. Prevention campaigns are working. Every day, Cancer Council raises funds. Is closer to breakthroughs. It makes cancer less fearful. Every day, every one of us can do something. So what will you do today? To help beat cancer. 